Okay, this video is part of a series uh, that we've been going over, so be sure to check out the link in the description to the full playlist. Now, this is going to be uh, the same technique we used when we were overlaying text and logos on a screen, but today we're going to try to do some superimposing of some objects on a scene. So let me go ahead, I'm going to drag down this video clip here of my daughter sitting and dancing at our dinner table. Okay, I'm going to mute it so we don't have to listen to the audio while I'm editing here. And then I have some images that I took pictures of, and then I cut out the backgrounds in GIMP. So let's go ahead and start superimposing some of them. So I'm going to drag this one down. It's just her placemat. And right away you can see it's way too big. And I did a very, this is very quick for this tutorial. Also, the edges are very rough on all these, but just to give you the idea. So I'm going to choose that and then choose the position zoom. So just like we did in the other one, you can go up here, type in uh, zoom and choose the one that says position and zoom. And I add that effect to this clip and I can go to the first frame here and then I can scale it down. And again, ignore this white line. It doesn't really exist. That's just for some reason showing up in the preview. And I can put it right in front of her like that. In fact, it's still a little big. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Next, I can take this cereal box. Now the cereal box and this cup, when I cut out these images, I cut out all the background, including the shadows. So what I did was I added in a shadow back in GIMP, and I'll show you how to do that here in a moment. Uh, but important things when you're doing stuff like this is make sure you get the right angle for the objects. Uh, so try to get the same angle as the camera uh, was shot for the video and also the same lighting. So again, I'm going to choose that and I'm going to double click here and I'm going to resize this box and cup down until it looks right and then place it wherever I want it. And I purposely took an angle so it should be off to the right side of the screen. I could put it over here, but now it looks off. You know, so it's not the right angle. So again, angle, I could do that, you know, but it looks like the box is tipping over. Uh, so again, when you're taking pictures of the stuff you want to superimpose or video, which we'll get into superimposing videos in a future tutorial, uh, make sure you're getting the right angle and right lighting. So again, the shadows, very light shadow around the bottom of this box and cup, and I, I added that in in GIMP. And I'll show you right here, now that I have that box there, I need to now put this bucket of toys here. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say insert track above three and it will be a video track, we'll call it video four. And I will drop in, not, not the mat, but the bucket. So again, these are PNG files, so they have transparent backgrounds. And again, you can see I did this very quick. So as you can see, it's it's very roughly cut. This looks horrible here. Spend time trimming out things so they look better than that. I just did this quickly for this tutorial. But again, with this here, I'm going to choose position and zoom, and I'm going to scale that down and place it on the table. All right, a little bit smaller than that. That's probably about right. But besides the bad trim job on the edge there and how rough it is, it doesn't look right because there's no shadow. I didn't need a shadow for the mat because it was so flat, but this is standing up. So what I'm going to do is that with that image, I still have open in, in GIMP here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new transparent layer. So new layer, make sure it's transparent. I'm going to put it underneath our image. Then I'm going to choose our paintbrush tool with a feathered black paintbrush. And I am just going to go like this. And just draw kind of a shadow like that. So it looks horrible right now, right? So with that layer selected, I'm going to go to Filters, Blur, uh, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to blur it up probably 75. You, you need to adjust it for the lighting on your scene. So I'm going to do that. And there we go. It now has a shadow uh, around it. And it's very light, but it makes a difference. So I'm going to now export that. So I press Control E to export it or you can go down here, file, uh, export to or export as, and come back here and right away we don't see the difference. What I need to do is come up here, right click the clip and go reload, and then just move my timeline a little bit. And there we go, it has more of a shadow. Probably still not perfect, but it definitely looks better than it did without that shadow. 
Uh, probably still a little too dark up here, so I can lighten that up if I needed to, but this is just a tutorial, so I'm just gonna leave that like that. It's still, again, if I trimmed it out better, I, probably the, the bucket's probably the worst out of all of these. The uh, cup and cereal box, I think, look pretty good. The mat looks pretty good. This is just, I, I could have trimmed it a lot better and spent a little more time on the shadows. In fact, let's, let's go back in here and let's do Gaussian blur now. It's already been blurred to 75. Let's just blur it another 50. Sure. And export that. Reload this clip. There we go. That looks, a, it, it's still, it, it could use some work, <laughs> but it's good enough for this video. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, render this out and, uh, or actually, I'm just going to tag this video, uh, lock this video in at the end of this video. So uh, before I go, remember to check out the links in the description. There's a link to the full playlist. Uh, also a link to my website, filmsbychris.com. Uh, That's Chris with a K. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. Also check out my Patreon page if you want to become a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There you can download, uh, if you're a supporter, you can get videos early downloadable, uh, ad-free, and also you get to vote on what topics I do videos on. And now let's have a quick look at this video rendered out. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hi everybody! Say goodbye everybody!